Einstein didn't want people to study his brain, but they did it anyway. In 1955, Einstein died, and just hours later, someone took his brain. He never wanted to be worshipped, and especially not dissected. But science had other plans. The hospital's pathologist, Dr. Thomas Stoles Harvey, removed Einstein's brain without permission. He preserved it and began photographing and slicing it into over 240 pieces. He claimed it was for science to unlock what made Einstein a genius. Years later, researchers found that Einstein's parietal lobes were 15% wider than average. These are the parts of the brain responsible for math and spatial reasoning. He also had an unusual Sylvian fissure, a brain groove that allowed more neurons to be densely packed. But here's the twist. No one can say for sure if that caused his genius or was just a unique variation. What's worse? Einstein's brain was passed around like an artifact. It was sent to researchers in jars, even mailed in pieces. For decades, scientists debated not just its biology, but the morality of what happened. Einstein believed that imagination was more important than knowledge. He wanted his ideas, not his tissue, to be studied. In the end, we learned more about science, ethics, than about Einstein's intelligence. Sometimes the pursuit of knowledge crosses the line. Oh. Even when chasing greatness. If this story opened your mind, hit subscribe. Because at the Science Stream, we explore not just how science works, but what it costs.